Hey there guys, what's up? It's Steve to Blaze back here from the cruise ship thingy that I went on last week. So right now I got some gameplay for you guys from Modern Warfare 3. It's on the map Underground, I believe. Can't remember exactly what the name is because I don't play this game too often. But pretty much it is of domination, team tactical, so 4v4. I'm with a friend, Tiers, who I know in real life and all. I'm with my other friend Nigel, who is the ex-owner um, of Rise. Get that, get to that whole story later. And I'm also with Nigel's friend, Syndicate. So the gameplay may seem a little boring at first, but just watch it for a little bit. Then it gets interesting after you get past me failing for a while. So guys, basically back from the cruise ship now that I was on. It was called the Allure of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. It went to Jamaica, Haiti, and Mexico. And believe it or not, Haiti and Mexico were actually really fun. And overall, the cruise ship was really good. It was the Allure of the Seas, which you guys may know is the ship that Jack and Jill was filmed on with Adam Sandler. So that was pretty cool being able to actually go on the ship where that was filmed. Like, you know, you can think, oh wow, it's on a cruise ship with movie stars. Even better, they have video games. It was in this place called the Living Room, which is like a lounge for the teenagers. It's free, you get to just go there. It's a come and go basis, so you just walk in. When you're bored, you just walk out, pretty much. So I met a lot of friends, played a lot of video games, especially one particular game that I'll get to later, too. So, back to the Rise thing. So pretty much, while I was on vacation on Friday, a lot of the people decided that the directors and staff tended to be very immature, started fighting a lot, stuff like that. So people like Tedious Parrot, Nigel and Ashley, or Mr. Ashley D, all d decided to leave. So then, Tedious Parrot and Nigel formed a new one called Redica. Ashley is now the president of it, and I'm the vice president, so I got a promotion. But yeah, um, link will be in the description to Redica. But of course, there's only one channel, which is going to be nice. Now, with the rise, I had the zombie survival guide. The thrust, I had left for dead. Now, I'm discontinuing Zombie Survival Guide because, for one thing, it was a pain in the ass to have to edit every single week. Freaking week. Like, every single week. It was nice because the cruise ship was a vacation from that. More than just about anything else. Because, basically, all summer I've just been sitting around playing video games. The cruise was no different. Except, of course, when I went in the pool and stuff like that. But, you know. So, now Zombie Survival Guide's done. Because also you guys just didn't seem to enjoy it. And I'm thinking of doing some other thing, kind of like the word of the week on Rise. So if you guys have any feedback on a series you may want me to do on Redica, a game particularly, or something to do to get the community involved, whatever, then just leave a comment. And also if you could just go check out the channel and subscribe, that would be great. And then watch the videos and stuff. So now, speaking of discontinuing series is... I'm sorry to say this, and it actually is really hard on me because this is probably my longest my longest going series, but I'm discontinuing the VHD mod pack series. I'm sorry to say it, but it just has to be done. I talked to Gimlier and he appreciates what I've done so far and I think I have to say Gimlier, you did one heck of a job with the mod pack. It was really fun and just thank you for giving me the experience with it while I had it. But because he's not updating it anymore, there's no point in playing 1.1 mod forever when I was hoping I could do a season 2 if he decides to update it to 1.3 where I could have all my items spawned in but in a different map, new generation, whatever. That way then I could start fresh-ish and have like, you know, new stuff. Then I could also do it on hardcore, or at least hard difficulty so that it makes it more interesting. Well before I was only playing on easy and yet I still died a lot. But, he suggested maybe just make a new world and do hardcore for that so you can get the rare mobs. The only reason I didn't do that is because I don't want the season 2 to be like 2 episodes. Because I would inevitably die. Most likely, be swimming around the first episode, find an underwater ravine, fall out, fall to my death. If you get the reference to that, I'll give you a cookie. Imaginary cookie, of course, I can't give you a real cookie. So, yeah, just post a comment if you understand that reference. You have to be a real long time subscriber though to really understand it. Probably from around a year ago, actually. So yeah, the VHD mod pack is discontinued. I'm thinking of doing a new series on my channel. If you have an idea for that series, 
leave a comment, and I'll look into it, because I'm still thinking of a new series is to do for it. Speaking of other series, I have Survival Archipelago and Candyland still going. Survival Archipelago, I will probably have a video up for this weekend, because Better Than Wolves has been updated. Candyland, on the other hand, I'm going to wait till the 1.3 update. In the meantime, I'm going to upload other videos in its place, such as this announcement video I have right now. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to wait. Because Candyland is the same thing with VHD Mod Pack. Just starting to get kind of boring, but at the same time I want it to be the newer versions because that's fun, interesting, and new and stuff. Plus I really want to play with the tripwire and stuff once I figure out how to use it. But also, it's kind of weird playing a 1.2 texture pack with a 1.3 game because then there's a lot of new items that just pairs pink squares and stuff. So you guys, you may remember me saying before that there was one fit video game that I played a lot, and I just recently got it. Like, today I actually went out and bought it again. I have not played it in a couple years much. I traded GameStop a couple years ago. One of the worst decisions of my young teenage, like, preteen life sort of thing. And that game was Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It was a really fun game. I remember playing it all the time when I was a kid. I was amazing at it. Not to, like, brag or anything, but I just rarely lost. I usually got like first place, second place occasionally. Just because I played it a lot, I was good at it from knowing how to spam buttons and stuff. And it was always really fun. And while on the cruise ship, I played it a lot more. And so, you know, it was nice. So yeah, next thing is next. Um, so I may consider making videos for it, but first I want to do a couple of quality test videos. Because it's on the Wii, I cannot record in HD right now. I have an HD MI cable so I can play it in HD, but that's not working with the HDMI or the HD PVR. So I have to go out and buy another cable. But first I want to make sure that you guys really would be interested in watching me play that game. Otherwise, I'm just not going to buy it and I'll just play it to myself whenever I want to. And of course if you guys do want me to, I could also make some Pokemon Rumble videos. Again, not in HD right away. If you guys enjoy the videos, maybe I'll make HD, but I'd have to really enjoy it to myself because I just got back into Pokemon Rumble today because I was setting up my Wii, clearing out all the space on my hard drive and stuff, and I was like, hmm, Pokemon Rumble, I'll play that one board. And then I was like, oh yeah, bitches, get owned, die, eat my rat attack, power of death, and stuff in the first battle royale. Yeah, like, I actually lasted in there for like a good minute and a half, even though you're supposed to die within seconds of starting. So yeah, on to the next thing. So, you guys may have seen my movies and candy video from last week announcing that I was going away and also telling a little story from recently. Although, by recently, I mean like a few mo a few weeks before that happened. Well, before I record the video. So if you guys want me to make more videos like that where I talk about my life and stuff, just tell me because I'll consider it. Only thing is, first I need to actually have interesting things happen in my life. It's like... Over the next couple weeks, if you guys want me to, I can make more videos about the cruise and stuff. Like, just talking about it and stuff while playing video games of different sorts. Because I definitely had a lot of fun experiences that I could tell you guys about on the cruise. And stuff. Well, it's a really indefinite propositional phrase. Because I said, I can tell you about it a lot. I had a lot of things that I can tell you about on the cruise. But on the cruise is supposed to be before I can tell you about because... Otherwise, it sounds like I'm telling you guys about it while I'm on the cruise. Okay, so now I just got distracted by grammar. Wow. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about the cruise or any specific things about the cruise you want me to talk about, leave a comment. Maybe if you want me to talk about my day in Haiti, my day in Mexico, then tell me. Because in Haiti, I went to this private beach thing for Royal Caribbean called Labadee. And in Mexico, I went to Cozumel first, and then went to this place called Excaray. If you want to know what that's like, just search it or whatever. And so yeah. Also, if you guys have any feedback, I'd love to hear it about any of the things I talked about in this video. And then that's just about it. So thank you guys for watching. If you want, you can watch the rest of the gameplay to see who wins, what the score is, and all that stuff, how many kill streaks I get, whatever. If not, then thank you for watching up this far. So again, guys, see ya. Burn on.